Hi everyone, Crystal here. Wanted to share with you a design team project for the Wild Bunch Wild Orchid Crafts. I was able to create again, which I have been finding myself creating quite a few days now, which is kind of neat because I have, I'm just, my schedule is always really hectic. So I wanted to alter a box. So here it is. Um, this is an altered cigar box. Um, I haven't altered a box in a while, so I wanted to kind of um, challenge myself again to create um, or alter a box. So first I painted it. Um, it's This is a real cigar box. Um, so it came kind of like a, a, a cherry kind of wood. So I painted it first, or no, I gessoed it first with some gesso and then I used this um, Craft Smart Robin's Egg Blue Acrylic Paint so for the base and then of course I used um, the Crackle Medium this is the one I used this is the Folk Art um, Crackle Medium and then after that I um, layered it with some white acrylic paint and then I don't know if you can see try to get it up closer let me see if it'll and then um, I used you probably can't see it but it's really really super glittery um, there if you can kind of it's like a holographic kind of glitter and I achieved that um, look by using this um, awesome Mod Podge here and this is a sparkle um, a sparkle kind of Mod Podge and then I layered um, this lace here from my stash and I adhered this using just the regular Mod Podge um, so it's just a strip of it there um, and it's white and it's kind of just sitting in the background you can't really see it but it gives it like a textured kind of look and it's really stiff um, that's the first time I've ever tried that technique so it's kind of kind of neat and then I used some um, this little die here um, using my spell binders that um, was given to me by D hi D and it's like a flourish um, swirl and I cut it out using some um, glittered paper I don't know if you can tell but it's like glittered so I put one here and then one here as well and then the focal point is my last open rose and it's the really big one um, which they no longer walk um, no longer carries it but this is my absolute favorite it's it's really small I mean it's uh, really large and they no longer carry it so I put that in the center and then here I used three um, of these wild roses in the two-tone color which oh it's a wild rose. Did I put it away? I might have. Oh no, here it is. MKX 102. So I put it here and then here as well. And then um, this here are these here, should I say, are the large Tuscany roses. And it's QVR 081. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love these flowers. This is my. Um, probably my next favorite next to this one the look is just it's so full and it's I love it so that's what I put here and here and then here and here I used um, a trellis rose from the mixed um, mixed blue pack and I used the kind of like lighter one here um, and then here and here are some hip rose buds from the mixed pack here and these are the kind of colors you get here super cute and then here are some hellebores two-tone um, pink and white hellebores which I swear I need to be a little bit <laughs> I just create and toss the flowers to the side okay and it's MKX-3588 so I put um, one here and one here. And this here um, 
is like a spray that I got from Michaels that I cut apart. Um, and then here and here are some wild roses. Pink um, two-tone wild roses here and here. I use some, um, what is this stuff called? Cheesecloth. And then I use some of the snow techs and I kind of just wiped it along in random places here and then I um, snow text um, every flower so there's looks I kind of wanted like a wintry blue shabby kind of theme so I even put some on the bead sprays and then here on the side is just some um, Wild Orchid Craft Tool um, Lace Net. And I love that trim. And it's MKX-589. Um, so I put that all the way around the box. It's really pretty. And then kind of peeking below that is this really awesome flat back um, type of pearl trim here. mkx um, dash 613 and I used it in the white the white color so that's that and then this is just some Hobby Lobby trim trim that I got from Hobby Lobby so there's that the inside is pretty plain just looks like this um, I just put some lace here from my stash to kind of hold up the box and then I used, adhered it with one of these um, flowers in the small one, GST-168 for this one here. Um, and then I just layered it with some of, or I covered the bottom with some white um, rosette type of trim that I had in my stash. This is just some paper that I picked up at my local um, scrapbook store. And then... This is just some lace I had in my stash to hold the box open. So there's my design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts. Make sure you guys go check it out um, and uh, get you guys some amazing embellishments. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.